What's up guys, I hope you're doing well. In today's video, I wanna talk about the consequences of indecision. You know, what happens when we can't make an action and decide on something. And this can come up in one of three ways. And the first possibility is that the situation blows up in your face. You waited so long to act on something or so long to decide that it came to the point where it was too late and it blew up in your face. And you are, um, you have to make a decision, a split second decision at the last second without the proper time to think about it or consider both possibilities. And this puts you in a really shitty situation to make a good decision. Because you waited until the last minute and then boom, right now, you gotta decide, right now. Right? And well, you're out of luck then. And the second possibility is that it's a little step, it's a step further than the first scenario. It doesn't blow up in your face, it, it withers away. You no longer have all the options. Perhaps there's a limited time, right, for, for these options that you're trying to decide on. And when it's gone, you no longer have the decision to make. And then you're left with the regret of, of not, not seizing that opportunity when you had it because you couldn't decide on it. And let me tell you, that is one of the most painful feelings in the world is regret. You know, you can feel it deep inside you that you didn't take that opportunity when you had it because you couldn't decide, right? and it became too late. And the third possibility is that somebody else decides for you. Another incredibly painful um, painful experience is having somebody, it's controlling you, right? It's controlling your decision, but it's because you couldn't decide, you know? It's because you were stuck there, not making, not taking any action, that a third party or another person had to decide for you. And good chances it's not going to be the decision you wanted to make. And even if not, it's that feeling of powerless, of, of not having control over our lives that can be very, very, um, very demeaning and it can feel like somebody's ripped the rug out from under you, right? Because guys, the thing with indecision is that it creates inactivity. If we can't decide on something, we can't we can't go on, we can't act further, you know, and we're stuck. And not only does this affect us, but it affects our relationships. Those people around us, your friends, your family, boyfriend, girlfriend, those people who depend on you, right? They also depend on your ability to make decisions. And if you can't do that, they're going to lose faith in you. They're going to lose trust in you. And these are some of the most essential building blocks for any relationship. So we've got to buckle down and really learn how to decide and, and make it a very, make it a very, um, make it a skill of ours. It sounds kind of funny to think about that, you know, the skill of decision making, but it's critical. It's critical in your growth as an individual and it's critical in everyday life just to get through the day, you know. And we create a trend for ourselves when we can't decide on simple things. We create a trend of indecision. So that anytime we have an option, we're automatically stuck, right? And we've got to learn how to get out of that. Okay, but I'll save all this for a different video. Because right now I wanted to focus on the three consequences of indecision. Right? The situation blows up in your face and you have to make a last second decision. The situation dwindles away and you no longer have those opportunities that were facing you. And three, somebody else makes the decision for you, right? All these equally, maybe not equally, but they all suck, right? So make a decision. And I'll put a link right here to a video about how to make the right decision. That's it. I hope it helped. Take it easy.